Winnie the Pooh, Rue's New Babysitter by Kathleen W. Zofield, illustrated by Robin Cuddy. Rue, dear, your babysitter will be here soon, Kanga said. I don't want to be babysitted, Rue cried. Now, Rue, Mama's just going out for a little shopping and dinner with Aunt Sadie, said Kanga. You'll have fun with Pooh. But I want to go shopping with you, Rue cried. I'm really good at shopping. I can help. Yes, dear, I know, Kanga said. She was busy buttoning her coat and looking for her purse. Rue found a large bag and began filling it with things. Look at me, shopping, he cried. I'd be such a big help. Another time, dear, Kanga said. What other time? asked Rue. Well, not this time, Kanga said. Oh, look, here comes Pooh now. Hello, Pooh, said Rue. Look, I'm shopping. Now, Pooh, don't let Rue get into any mischief while I'm gone. Oh, I won't let him get into anything, said Pooh cheerfully. Goodbye. Rue and Pooh waved as they watched Kanga hop down the path and over the bridge. When she was out of sight, Rue's face dropped. Pooh gave Rue a hug as they walked back inside. Then Pooh put Rue in his high chair. What you need to cheer you up is a nice snack. Pooh said. How about some honey? I like shopping, squeaked Rue. I don't want a snack. Hmm. He doesn't want to eat, Pooh said. Now what do I do? You don't know how to babysit, asked Rue. Of course I do, Pooh said. I'll accept the actual babysitting part. I'm good at babysitting, Rue said. Perking up, I'll tell you how. The first thing a babysitter does is play store, said Rue. He showed Pooh how to set up the cash register and where to put all the toys in can and bags. When they were finished playing, Pooh sat down to rest. The next thing a babysitter does is climb, Rue cried. Let's see who can climb higher, you or me. Pooh was beginning to think there was not much sitting involved in babysitting. He sighed, okay, let's find a good tree to climb. The old apple tree in Rue's backyard was perfect. Rue jumped up. He couldn't reach even the lowest branch. Babysitters always give a boost, he said. I see, Pooh replied. Rue hopped from branch to branch. Pooh climbed up behind him. Hmm, said Rue. Look at those apples. Babysitters always pick apples for dinner. Pooh scrambled up the highest branch. He picked four bright red apples and tucked them under his arm. Then he inched his way back down. Wow, Pooh, Rue cried. You can climb with one arm? Oops, I'm just that sort of oof. Babysitter, Pooh shouted as he fell onto Rue's branch. Together they sat side by side, swinging their feet and eating their sweet apples. This is the best dinner ever, Rue said happily. What do babysitters do after dinner? Pooh asked. They give back with lots of bubbles, Rue said. Inside, Rue showed Pooh how to how babysitters pour a whole bottle of bubble solution into the backwater. That seems like a lot, Pooh said. Just right, Rue said. Rue took off his little shirt and hopped in. He disappeared under the bubbles. Where's Rue? Pooh asked. He blew on the bubbles, but he couldn't see Rue anywhere. Pooh frantically swished his hands through the bubbles. Rue was nowhere to be found. Look at me jumping, squeaked a little voice. Pooh could hear Rue. There you are, Pooh cried as he walked into Rue's bedroom. 
Rue was all bubbly and wet. He jumped up and down on his bed. Pooh chased the little kangaroo with a towel. When he finally caught him, Pooh dried him off. It's time to take your strengthening medicine, Pooh said sternly. I don't want it, said Rue. He folded his arms across his chest and stuck out his chin. Oh well, Pooh sighed as he slumped into a chair. Why don't you give me a spoonful? I'm not feeling so well. I think I could use it. Now, Pooh, dear, here's your medicine, Rue said in a grown-up voice. He fed Pooh a spoonful of medicine. Ah, much better, Pooh sighed. Thank you, Rue. You are a good babysitter. I'm babysitting, Rue sang happily. Just then, Kanga opened the door. She saw Rue and Pooh snuggled together in a chair. Mama, look at me, Rue shouted. I'm babysitting Pooh. Of course you are, dear, Kanga said with a smile. The end.